Skate park closed, someone forgot a couple of coins, so you know, put those in the cash. Uh, good day, not too busy, but fine. And uh, I've just been scooting a little bit, and my knee thankfully didn't hurt, which is nice, so I'm alright. Uh, I didn't do anything wild though, I did a couple of whips and stuff. Uh, got my penny in here, Brian wanted to try it out, so I think he might be getting himself one, and I'm just Get in my bag here and get his stuff ready to go home. Packing all of my stuff. I need to go around close to shut the lights off and stuff. Um, I had a message from one of you guys who watched my videos said that my videos has been really, really boring lately. Uh, and I agree, completely agree. But if you have noticed, I have been really low on energy. And if you haven't tried it, um, just test it out and make a, like a five, 10 minute video every day for a week and you'll see how much, how much work there actually is into remembering to record and bring the camera around all the time. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy doing this, but I have been extremely low of energy at the moment, uh, or these days, and I don't really know why. It's irritating and frustrating to myself, because I do enjoy doing these videos. And uh, as I mentioned, I really wish I had, what was that? I heard something up there, creepy. I swear we got ghosts out here. Um, but no, um, I really wish that I could make better and more interesting videos for you guys. And you got to remember, when you think your video is boring, it also means that my days have not consisted very much. And uh, I have a lot of, not stress at the moment, because I'm not, I'm not one of those who want to stress. But I have like a lot of things going on in my mind, knowing that we have to move in about three and a half months. And find a new place to live. Our car is breaking down and needs repairing. Uh, which we probably can't afford at the moment because and we don't really want to spend too much money on this old car it's really it's like it's like 15 years old our car it's older than some of you guys out there watching uh, and that's this downside of living in denmark because cars are so expensive but uh, yes i would love to make more interesting videos and hopefully i will get some newfound energy soon um to continue making vlogs for you guys which you might enjoy more than you do now <laughs> Uh, but we'll see. We'll have to, uh, I'll have to like find new energy. Uh, I don't know how I'll do that. Maybe uh, I'm applying for the work in Norway, as you know. And um, if I get that, well, that will be something different to show. But again, I'll be working, so I can't go around work all day and film and stuff like that. So that's one thing. But I, I do want to continue my vlogs. I do love making them uh, and you guys probably I hope you don't think I only do it for the viewers and for or for the views and for getting like internet famous because if that was the case I would probably have stopped by now having 21,000 subscribers after five four and a half years of vlogging uh, and don't take this in the wrong way I'm not ungrateful at all but it's not a lot of subscribers for the amount of videos and time I spent on it uh, and you gotta agree with that um, some people have made like 20 30 vlogs and have almost about the same amount of subscribers as I have now uh, but I'm not being ungrateful I love every single follow I get and uh, I'm grateful for it but um, that just proves I'm not doing this just for the views and the followers I do this because I enjoy it and I love the fact that I'm able to go back and look at my whole videos and see what I've been through good times and bad times um, I say a lot of things about I'm tired of 
much. Life can be shitty so much and and all that. Um, but I'm also know that the only one who can change the bad periods in your life is yourself. And I gotta just say, we Paul and I have been through a lot the last five years in our life since we moved back from Sweden. We both lost our jobs while we worked in the airport because of the finals crisis or what they so-called called it. But a lot of my, people from my team was laid off. We were about uh, 80 people on my work in the airport. And Paul was working in DHL in the airport. And the department he worked in closed down because in Germany uh, they had a bigger department opening up where they could have all of the jobs down there so they closed down the uh, department in Copenhagen so Paul lost his job like that and we both lost our job almost same time within the same same like two weeks and that was a big letdown you gotta remember we came from a life where we both were working both had a great time and made enough money and didn't have to worry about bills and stuff like that because we were on top with everything and suddenly come down to both of us not having a job not able to find something Paul got his bad back which will not allow him to work and I have like um went I went down with like what do you call it with uh, not stress but I have like a kind of like depression I had like a depression for like two or three years and I thought everything was like shit but the vlogs has helped me keeping it up so I'm rambling way too much guys but this is my vlog and this is my life and I'm showing you good stuff as bad stuff and I understand if you find it really boring at the moment and don't want to follow me anymore you I can't make you stay, um, but if you like it and want to hang along and maybe hope for a better future and see what else is going to happen, well, I hope you stay along and uh, keep watching, uh, even though it might be bad times, good times. I mean, I've seen a lot of vlogs on YouTube, um, like Fun for Louie, Traveling the World, lots of subscribers in no time and know all the right people like all the big youtubers he's got like the best contacts ever he know jack and finn from jack scap um and he, he knows all of them now he's like he made it he made it he's a youtube celebrity with the big guys so has ben brown he's done well um uh, but these guys have everything going for them uh i came through much later than them i'm much older uh, not much older i'm like 10 years older than them uh and I'm just a generation older, uh, which probably make me think that it's going to be much harder for me to make any success on YouTube, like real success, because I am that much older. And uh, I don't have the the youth life, uh, even though I am very young as a person, but I don't have the youth um, age, and I'm not like so hip and smart like all the other young guys. I am a guy, 35 years old, still wanting to be a child and still having a very, very childish mind and love to play and love to have fun. And I don't really want to grow up. Uh, I know I have to, but <laughs> I am refusing. I want to be young and have fun all my life if I can. Uh, mainly because all of the people I knew with my a own age, uh, which has like got children and stuff like that, it's just like, yeah, they they still have fun. But most of the life is just too serious, and I don't want to end up like that, worrying and stuff like that, but... <sighs> yeah, that's life. Alright, I'm going to catch you maybe when I come back home. I think I want to play a game of Counter-Strike. That is a thing now, which, like Kendama, um, Chrome Kendama is, like, beautiful Kendamas, I love them. Go check out ChromeKendama.com. Um, but Kendama is one of the things who can, like, shut my mind off all the crap around me and make me relax and that's why I enjoy it so much and I found the same with Counter-Strike but it's in a different way Kendama is like putting me into like a relaxed sensation um, just me and concentrating about the Kendama and learning the trick and landing and stuff where the other Counter-Strike is like helping me getting off uh, aggressions um, like if I feel like cranking and stuff like that Going in and getting a couple of games and a couple of wins, or maybe a couple of kills, um, boosts my morale a little bit. Not that I want to go and kill people, but in the game, it just like satisfies when you have a good game and stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright. Wow, eight minutes of talking. But now you know. And let's hope for a better future. I'll see you guys.